What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natalie and this is episode 3 of the Minish Cap series. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have been really awesome. We're getting closer to 30 subscribers. You guys are the best. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And the last episode when we did is when we completed the first dungeon which was the Deep Wood Shrine. And now we're going to be making our way to Mount Crenel to get to the next dungeon to get the second element that we need to restore the Kori sword. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we did talk to the village elder already. He gave us the opening to get out of the Minish Woods easier and faster. But let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. Hope you all are doing well. Oh wait, hold on. Before you go back to normal, what you want to do is you actually want to go into this little Minish house right here and you talk to this guy right here and he should give you some bombs Green clothes and a mystical hat? Would you by chance be Link the one who found the earth element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. I am Bellari, researcher of antiquities I am also, well, a bit of an inventor You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris Here, I have something that might come in handy we got a bomb bag! Thank you so much, Bolari. And it has 10 bombs in it, you can now blow up lots of stuff. Thank you so much, my good sir. We will remember your kindness. So now you can go ahead and return to normal size, so you can get across this little puddle of water, which is, again, a little endless swamp or sea of water to the finish. Oh wait, hold on, you can, you can cut it with sword now. <laughs> So, if you look at this thing, it says, Holder of the Sacred Powers, we grant you the power of wind. And then it just blows up. Hmm, whoa, it blew up? Hey kid, look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest, hmm? So that'll come in handy later on, but for now we're just gonna leave it at that. And now we can get some bombs. That means that we have the bomb bag from Mr. Pilari. Store them in your bomb bag. Okay, and then we just got some grass over here. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Because I'm really enjoying playing this. Let's go ahead and equip our bombs and then we can blow them up. Unfortunately, in this game, you cannot refill your bomb bag by grabbing bombs and storing them in your bomb bag. Or if you accidentally pull out a bomb, you cannot pick it back up and put it back into your bomb bag. That's the one thing that I really, really enjoyed about Skyward Swords items is that you were able to do that. That mechanic was super amazing. We also had a little beetle there that was trying to kill us, but he did not work in his- Oh, that one worked in his ambush scheme. He got us good, but the other one, the first one, we did not allow him to ambush us. So if you go over here, there's another little minish house over here. I guess we'll go ahead and talk to him. And you can also get some mysterious shells from blowing up these stones. So let's go ahead and check out this minish really quick. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Okay, so that was it that he told us. But also another thing, when you're minished, all this stuff comes back because it prevents you from going further out and venturing because they don't want you to get to certain places as a minish, unfortunately. So that sucks. But let's go ahead and continue our way back to Hyrule. Well, we're in Hyrule. Back to Hyrule Town. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. We got some keys! This is the first time seeing the keys here. Come here, little guy. Yeah, come closer. No, no, come closer. Ow. Oh! Mm. So we got plenty of mysterious shells. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pull, uh, pull out my gust jar because we're gonna need that to kill these guys. Little pea hats. And now you can grab these guys with your gust jar and kill them. Oh, I killed the other one with that. I shot the one pea hat into the other pea hat and just killed both of them. Killing two birds with one stone, literally. There's so many of these beetles just like hiding and ready to ambush us. But now that you have the bombs, you can blow all of these things up and it's gonna give you better access, a shorter access to getting back to the Minish Woods from Hyrule Castle. And also like to get beat by these duck things. Oh, and you also get some mystery shells again. I totally forgot about that. Oh man, they're blocking the way. Dang you! The construction guys have moved south. Okay, so now we're back in South Pyro Field. We're gonna go some Octoroks here, defending the station, defending the area, and there's another one of these little wind things, so we could go ahead and activate it. So it says the same thing, and it blows up again. Hey, that's the marker crumbled, and there's another of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Oh, there's another one of those little spiders. I have to get a random, even though I don't need it, I'm sorry. Just like how I showed in Survivor Sword when I was getting those Deku seeds and just constantly digging them up even though I may have my slingshot, I just, I, I just, I don't know, whenever I see that, I have to grab those items. But, we're gonna stop cutting grass for now because we're full on rupees. And we don't want to continue getting some stuff because then we're just gonna be wasting that, those rupees. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna head to Hyrule Town first. And we're gonna try to spend some money and then we'll come back to South Hyrule Field and get some more money. Come one, come all. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. You got a kinstone bag. You can now carry kinstone pieces with you. Press start to view its contents from your quest status screen. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Use the D-pad or the left stick. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Uh, yeah. Then standing in front of me, press L so we can fuse kinstones. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L, then you can see the kinstone screen. And there we go, and all we have to do is press A to fuse with him. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. So he's the hurdy gurdy man. And there we go. So now we unlock that little tree in the bottom right corner next to our little house where Smith, Grandpa Smith is. We could go and check that out. A perfect fit! That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya! 
Alright, so we learned how to fuse with kid stones. This is a major part of this game. You can do this and sometimes you have to do this in order to get through the rest of the game. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go to the shop, which is right here with the big old ruby on top of the store. And we're gonna try to get this money bag. Let's see how much it costs. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. I can hold the king's ransom in rupees. Will you buy it? So there we go, we can go ahead and buy it. And we got the big wallet, and now you can carry more rupees. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. I like how I did that. Oh. Alright, so now that we spent some rupees, let's go back to South Hyrule Field really quick. And let's keep exploring it. So we're gonna start with this end over here. I'm pretty sure we can't get further than this area. But just to show you guys, let's go ahead and go here. Yeah, you can't get... You punk. Yeah, because you can't jump over here because there's a forward block in the way. So you're gonna have to come back around to the other side one day. Here, there's nothing here you can do yet. But there is a thing that you can go get over here. If you go down these stairs and you blow this wall up, there's gonna be a, a wonderful treasure inside. Some fairies! So we found a fairy, the reliable ally will replenish your life energy. Not what I remember, but you know, if you need fairies, there they are. And there's also some Octoroks. Let's go ahead and break all these bushes. And we're gonna go see Smitty right now. Oh, and another thing, since you get the kinstone bag, you're gonna be able to find kinstone pieces when you cut the grass and the bushes now. It's gonna be rare at first, I'm pretty sure, because, um, you know, why not? You're barely starting out and they don't want you to get all the stuff right away, but, um, you could definitely find kinstone pieces. So just cut all the grass when you can, because you definitely want to get as many kinstone pieces as you can if you want to 100% complete the game. And you can also get, like you just saw, the mystery shells. You also want to get those again if you want to complete the game 100%. But for now, it looks like we're not getting any luck on... No, I didn't want you. It looks like we're not getting any luck on getting kinstone pieces. <gasps> I almost blew myself up, though. That's not good. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Oh, you dumb bird. You don't have your own room. This is just my house. Hello, Grandpa. Goodbye, Grandpa. To be fair, I don't know why I came in here. I know that you could fuse with Grandpa in the future, but not at the moment. There's nothing else in there, but let's go ahead and check out this tree over here. After we cut all this grass, of course. We got another heart added to our life gauge. Now we have five hearts. And again, it seems like we're not getting any luck regarding getting kinstone pieces. Sad days. But I guess we'll make our way back to Hyrule Town. But we are getting a lot of mystery shells. Not a lot, but good enough for me. Kinstone piece! These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. So there we go, we got one kinstone out of all the bushes and grass we just cut down. So yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I suggest that you guys have stock up on that. Because, um, another thing too, if you look at the kinstone bag, there are three different types of kinstone for each color. So there's green, blue, or red ones, and then later on you get gold ones, but that's for specific 
little mission that you have to do so they only give you those and that's the only time you can get those golden pieces but here we got one of the green pieces it has the little indent in the middle of it kind of looks like a C you could also get two different versions of the green one and then you get three different versions of the red and three different versions of the blue ones so you got to make sure you get all of the kinstones that you can even if they're the same color because again they're different shapes and now everybody wants the same shaped kinstone. So here we go, we're back in Hyrule Town with the little kitty cat. If you make your way over here, let me actually put this on. There's a little chick on top of the roof, but if you come in here, you're gonna get taught some cool, awesome things from this guy. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Yes, please. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Haha, -ha, very good, you are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Ugh. Possession! Now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button, build up enough power, then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. There we go. Yes, fine work. You are a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it anytime from the quest status screen. You learned the secret spin attack fighting technique. This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftblade. Alright, thank you Master Swiftblade, much appreciated. We now know how to do the spin attack so it'll be easier for us to cut grass with. But if you also go over here, we could talk to this lady. Oh no, this is horrible, my cocoons have gotten out. Can you catch them for me? Yes, let's help. So this is a great way to get some extra money if you need it. Um, because that guy in the rupee shop, the regular shop, not Beetle, the one we just bought from Walgreens, he's pretty expensive too. He both up the price, so he's pretty much the equivalent of Beetle, except he's not Beetle. Try to catch two of them within 25 seconds, please. And you can't go into buildings or leave town. Okay. So two of them. There's one. Is there? There's like one in the door right there, if you guys can see. And two. Yeah, see, there's a chicken right here that was in the door. Oh, yes! No! I almost got the golden chicken in there. The golden cuckoo. Cuckoo. Thanks! Here's your reward! You got ten mystery shells. Mysterious shells. You got 30 rupees. Doesn't it feel good to help others? Oh, it feels super good. Also, she wants to fuse, so let's go ahead and check out what she wants to fuse with. And there we go. So you can see that she has a different type of kinstone shape with the green one. So we haven't found that shape yet that fits hers. So we gotta go ahead and wait and find it. And her name is Andrew. Remember that name, guys, because in a future game, she comes back. And she's always the chicken lady, so... Oh, you don't want to? Well, we can try again later. So, what I'm gonna do, actually, is probably gonna go stock up on some kinstones, and then we'll meet back here. I'm gonna do that off-screen so you guys won't see the process, the painful process of trying to find kinstones. But I do want to kind of stock up as much as I can, because... Sometimes if you miss these kinstones, they won't come back. Supposedly they do transfer to another person in town or whatever, or another item thing that you can use later on. 
but I don't trust it, so I'm just gonna try to fuse as much as I can right now. And I also cleaned up the space, that way another merchant can come in and start selling stuff. So let me go get some kinstones and we'll meet back. back in I will turn after a little adventure to try to get more kinstones. I spent a few minutes on it and I only found like three more kinstones so we did find the other two shapes for it and then we found two of the middle shape that we see there but yes we did find the one that we need to go ahead and fuse kinstones with Andrew. Let's go ahead and talk to her. <gasps> you see this is what I mean she doesn't want to fuse anymore. So you gotta like, that's why you gotta go ahead and, you know, fuse when you can. Get all the kinstones out of when they, you come across somebody that wants to fuse, you don't have to worry about them not wanting to fuse anymore. Unfortunately, she doesn't want to fuse anymore. Hopefully once we do this, she'll want to fuse, but if she doesn't, then, oh man, I missed that golden cuckoo again. Oh, well, but hopefully she'll want to fuse again soon. Because, um, that kind of sucks. Mm. No, she doesn't want to fuse anymore. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's go check to see if Grandpa Smith wants to fuse. So he does not want to fuse. Oh, no, nobody wants to fuse anymore. Oh, that's horrible. Of course, we had to find the one kinstone piece that Andrew did not want. But, uh... See, this is the issue that you have with this game. 
At least I do. It's like, once they are gone, it seems like they're gone for good. And they just never come back, but... I don't know, maybe it's because I just need to keep going in and out of Hyrule Town and then she'll want to fuse, but... I get the idea that we're not going to be able to fuse with her anymore. Which sucks, because after all the hard work I put into finding that kid stone that she wanted, she's like, nah, I don't want to anymore. Sorry, pal. Yes! She wants to fuse again! I just have to go out of Hyrule Town and come back in. Okay, yes! And it's the same kinstone piece that she wants. Okay, there we go! The kinstone pieces fit perfectly. So now we're gonna unlock another little treasure in the world. And it looks like this one's gonna be in Minish Woods. And it's a golden octorock. So... Yeah, so it is in the Minish Woods, but it's in an area that we can't get to at the moment. So, we're gonna have to wait on that to get it in the future, but we're gonna remember that because it's gonna be marked on our map, that way we could find it. Alright, and then this guy, does he want to fuse? He doesn't at the moment. The dog doesn't want to fuse. Does she? No. She? Nope. Nope. I mean, we don't really have a lot of he doesn't want to fuse. We don't really have a lot of kinstone pieces anyway to fuse with people, but I still want to check. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of these people want to fuse at the moment. <gasps> the little boy wants to fuse, let's see. Yes, we have the piece that he's looking for. But we're running out of kinstone pieces, people. <laughs> Lolly, the name is Lolly. And again, this one looks like it's in the Minish Woods. It might be in an area, though, where we can't access yet. And it's a chest. Mm. It looks like we can't... No, we can't access that area yet. Because if you can see, the blue places are where water is. And until we can learn how to swim, we can't get to that point. Alright, so... Do you want to... She wants to fuse, so what do you want? Yes, okay. Um, I don't know if I should keep just looking for people to fuse with because I don't think I'm gonna have any of the fuse more of the kinstones that we need. And this one's in the Minish Woods again. This one's actually gonna be in an area that we can access. That's where we found Ezlo. So we could go ahead and get to that chest. But we'll get there later. We will get it right now. We we'll just have to remember that it's there, and we will remember that it's there because it's marked on our map. But let's see if this guy wants to fuse, which I don't think he would want to yet. No, he doesn't. There's also a little cafe right here that you can go and talk to people. Doesn't want to fuse. Does this guy? He wants to fuse, but hopefully it's something that we. Yes! Okay, perfect. Boris. Boris, thank you, my good lad. Thank you for fusing with us with the kinstone that we already have. Alright, there we go, and that's another area that we can access. That's the little path that you go through to get to the Minish Village. And I think that this guy's gonna wanna fuse. Yep, he's gonna wanna fuse. What does he wanna fuse with? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more kinstone pieces. Alright, another grinding of kinstones. We did get a little bit lucky or this time luckier this time around. We got a little bit more kinstones. As you can see, we have three of two of the shapes and two of the one of the shapes. But we did get a lot more this time around. It um, seems to be a whole thing revolving around chance. You just tap into it get it when they feel like giving it to you but you just have to keep going in and out of Hyrule Town into the south Hyrule field and cutting all the grass and the bushes and stuff and eventually you'll get some. Um, it is going to be a grind and it is going to take some time but if you do want to complete this game 100% you're going to need those kinstones believe me and you want to get them as early as possible to be able to fuse with these guys as early as possible so you won't miss your chance. 
He wants a blue one? Oh my gosh, I don't think we could get blue ones yet. So another way that you could get kinstones and this revolves money, this requires money, is first let's check to see if these people want to fuse and what they want to fuse with. There's a puppy. A donkey. No, none of these want to fuse yet. I think with the animals you can only try to fuse with them as a minish. Um... Let's see if these guys want to fuse- oh, you can't go in there yet. They're not open yet. Uh, we'll come back later. Okay, yeah, so they're not open yet, unfortunately. But another way that you can actually go- oh, she wants to fuse now. Ah, oh, she wants a red one? Oh. Okay. He wants to fuse- please be green. Yes! Brocco. His name is Brocco. So we got another chest, and it's in Hyrule Town. Unfortunately, we can't get to that area yet, but we got a one in Hyrule Town. Okay, they don't want to fuse again. She doesn't want to fuse. But another way you could get Kinstones is by coming into the bakery here. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples? I say, would you ask for me? So she doesn't want to fuse, it looks like, and he doesn't want to fuse either. So this is a bakery that you could come in and purchase some goodies. The more ex um, this one's like the most expensive ba pastry, and then this one's the cheapest pastry. So you definitely need a lot of rupees, and the way you could get that is by playing Andrew's game, by getting the cuckoos, which are the easiest ways to earn money. The other ways you could just go ahead and cut bushes and stuff and get money that way. I did get a lot of money as you can see at the bottom right corner, 171 rupees. Because I was trying to find the kinstones and I got a lot of rupees that way. Welcome! You've come to the one and only bakery of Wheaton and Pita. Oh, Pita. This tasty slice of cake, which may or may not have something special inside, is a moist and cream-filled bargain at only 60 rupees. So yes, sometimes you can get kinstones, other times you can't. So you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. Spend your rupees and see what you get. You can also get any color and any shape of kinstone in these pastries. You could get the red, blue, and green. So I suggest that if you have the money to spend, and if you can get the money easily, go ahead and spend it on these, so you can get kinstones. So right now we do have some money to spend. We got a slice of cake, time to get your snack on. And there we go, we got a kinstone piece, it's a red piece. There was a kinstone piece inside your tasty tree, what incredible luck, and it is luck. So we could definitely continue buying these treats. A slice of our fantastic fruit pie, which may or may not have something inside, is a snacktacular bargain at only 40 rupees. We got a slice of pie, one bite, and you're in heaven. And we got a green kinstone piece. Woohoo! Okay, hopefully we get a few more colored kinstones in these. And the ones that we need for those two people that wanted to fuse that needed the red and the blue ones, I think they did. It was our special croissant, croissant, which may or may not have something inside, is a flaky, buttery bargain at only 30 rupees. So we bought the croissant, croissant. It looks so buttery and delicious. Ah, nothing this time too bad. Ah, man. The croissant tricked us. Croissant. You've come to the one and only, our delicious broche, is that how you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments. Which may or may not have something special inside, is a filling and fulfilling bargain at only 20 rupees. So yeah, you could continue buying the cheapest one, which is only 20 rupees. Um, and you will be able to get kinstones there, but I think it's um, less likely that you'll get it. I think... The chances are higher to get a kinstone piece in the most expensive tree, of course. But you can get kinstones with 20 rupees. This cheapest one. So we bought the... Bro, 
brioche, brioche. It looks so crusty and delicious. And unfortunately, we did not get a kingstone piece. But if we go back in here, they are refilled in their goodies. And let's go ahead and buy, since we have 20 rupees to spare, we can go ahead and see if we can get a kingstone piece. Hopefully a blue one, and hopefully it's the one that we need. Get it too bad. That's a good way to get it. So let's see, is she the one? I think she's the one that wanted the red one. <gasps> and the piece of the pie it fits perfectly into her pizza. Dottie. Thank you, Dottie. So now we just need a blue kin stone for that one guy that wants to fuse. I think it's the pretty dirty man. But there we go, that section is Hyrule Castle, and unfortunately we cannot get there at the moment, so we're going to have to wait until the future to get that. Do you want to fuse? You don't. Okay, so that's not open yet. Yeah, so you can just continue do doing this all you want, and then uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and play the chicken game with Anju, get some money, and that way we could get some kinsto pieces. Hopefully we could get the blue one that we need to fuse with the hurdy gurdy man, because I really want to do that as soon as possible. So there we go, after playing a few games with Anju, getting her cuckoos, her cuckoos, we went ahead and got ourselves to 300 rupees, we are maxed out, let's go ahead and purchase a few more cakes, mostly the expensive one, ow, gosh dang it, because that seems where we get the higher chance at getting a kinstone piece, we just need the blue piece to go ahead and fuse with the curdy gurdy man. Man, it's just proving me wrong, huh? Come on, we just need the blue one, hopefully. Oh, nothing, they're just doing this to mess me up. Come on, croissant, don't mess me up this time. No, nah! they're just taking all my money. Come on, we didn't get anything at all. Y'all gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Yes, we got a kid stone, but it's not the color that we need. Freaking bow to me. Don't freaking do that. You're not giving me any canstones, lady. <sighs> oh, you bad, bad woman. Oh, come on. Give me the blue piece in this one. Come on. Come on. I know you wanna. No, they oh my gosh, they only gave me one kinstone piece out of all that I just bought. Well, back to playing the games with Angie. She gives us kinstone pieces too when you play the games with Andrew. Oh, so you guys, if you need more kinstones, you can also play the game with Andrew. But you do have to play a few times before she starts giving you kinstone pieces, it seems like. Because she'll give you rupees and she'll give you mysterious shells at first, and now she's. This is the first time she's giving us a kinstone piece, and it's a red piece. Unfortunately, we need the blue piece, but she does give you kinstone pieces, at least she did it right now. So that's another way you can get kinstone pieces. Okay, so we didn't max out this time when we went to go play the games with Andrew, but we did get close. And we got two redstone kin- two red kinstone pieces. Please, please give me the blue kinstone. Please. Yes! Oh my gosh, let's go see if that's freaking the one that we need for the hurdy gurdy guy. Cause, oh my gosh, it took me a while to get all these rupees to go buy them to see if we can get kinstone. Please, please, please. No, it's not the piece that we need. Oh. Oh, come on. 
come on. Don't make me beg for this. Okay, let's see if we can, you know... <gasps> you lost a fuse. Yes! So, Anton... So that's next to our house. So we could definitely grab that, but we're not going to yet. We're not going to yet. Do you want to- Oh, she wants to fuse too. Okay. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect. Verona. Yes. Oh my gosh. We're getting so many fusions. Yes. Let's see if this guy wants to fuse. Nah, he doesn't want to fuse yet. Is this guy? Nope. I think we already fused with this lady, so she's not gonna want to fuse again. The postman, I don't think he wants to fuse anytime soon. Oh, yes, she wants to fuse. Pina. Oh no, we don't have the correct one that we need. Oh, he wants to fuse again. Okay. Yes, okay. Bronco again wants to fuse. Second time. Looks like that's on Hyrule Castle. And it's a golden snake. Okay, did any of you want to fuse? Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and spend more money to see if we can fuse with more people. We need the blue one. Please give us the right blue one. Please, please, please. No. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna come back to when we actually get the piece that we need. Well, it looks like our luck ran out with um, the Andrew minigame because now we are not gonna be able to get any more of the cuckoos. The cuckoos because, um... Any more of the cuckoos because... We need certain items to get to the other chickens in the amount of time that she gives you to go catch them. So unfortunately you, the fun ends there, you can't get any more money with her. So I guess we'll go ahead and get this chest, hopefully with some money or kinstone piece that we need. It's freaking 200 mystery shells, oh my gosh. That is not what we needed. Okay, well I guess the fun ends there. We no longer can get or fuse with any more people at the moment because the two people that so far we need to fuse with, one of them requires one of the green ones that we do not have that we already used up. And the other one requires a blue piece that we do not have. So yeah, we're gonna have to come back, I guess. Hopefully they'll be still be here wanting to fuse when we do get back. So let's go ahead and continue making our way to Mount Crennel. Ooh, she wants to fuse. Do you want... Yes! Sheila! Good, good. So if you make your way over here, this is where the Mount Crenno is going to be, the path to that area. And this guard is blocking it, so you have to learn the spin attack because he wants you to show him that you're capable, I guess, of protecting yourself and stuff because there's monsters in that area. So he says, you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Yeah, that's the one, but there are monsters out there, kid. Just make sure you're careful. And there we go. We have access, and now there's this 
Fox Bandit. He steals your money. And he also gives you a whopping 5 rupees. If you go down here, you can't really do much. Um, you can bomb this wall. I think there's a Deku script here. A merchant. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I think you can get the bottle from him. Maybe. So let's go ahead and bring out our shield. Equip that. Alright. You got me! Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say? I don't have 20 rupees. I'm just 10 short of 20. Unfortunately, my good sir. So let's go ahead and get 20 rupees so we can buy the bottle. Alright, so we got our 20 rupees. Let's go ahead and buy it. The bottle from him? And there we go, we got our first empty bottle. Use it to store all sorts of things. Alright, so we have four rupees left. We are a poor little link. But if you guys break these rocks and throw them and stuff, you can get a lot of mystery sh mysterious shells. You can also get some kinstones. Sometimes it's rare again. But um you can definitely get kinstones from them. You get rupees as well. We can go ahead and put water in this bottle because we need to pour it onto this little sprout to make it grow. And there's also a cave that you can break right there, bomb it up. There we go. And there's also 20 rupees up here that we can go ahead and grab. There's another merchant here. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave just east of here in Trilby Highlands has an item. If you're planning on going up Mount Crenel, I think you might need it. It won't get you to the top, but it might give you just give you a start. So yeah, he's talking about the bottle, which we did get already. So thank you for that information, my good sir. And let's go ahead and make our way up here. And make our way up the mountain. And there's also these uh, annoying spider things. Dangerous! No climbing. Well, unfortunately we can't climb right now, sir. So we will not be climbing anytime soon. We go ahead and bomb this. I think it's a fairy fountain. If I remember correctly. So just in case, you could go ahead and grab yourself a fairy now that you have a bottle. Might as well, but I think we're gonna need the bottle later on, so go ahead and keep it empty. And then once you get past the section that you need the bottle again, you can go ahead and come back to get the fairies. If you so please and desire. But be careful with these because I think that if you touch them, they do hurt you. And I'm talking about the spiderwebs, the cobwebs or whatever. I actually think they hurt you like if you're a fish. Okay. And this one you could actually bomb this one too. I know it doesn't look like it, but if you see the little wooden fence postings, you can go ahead and bomb that. It's kind of like a little hint. Beware crumbling walls, blasting strictly prohibited. That's also another hint. And we got some red shoes this time instead of the green ones. So these, I believe they give you a lot more money. Um, we do give the rupees, but unfortunately they're being stingy and they're deciding not to give us any rupees. But that's all good, I guess. So we'll go ahead and blow this up so we can get access there. And this is actually the part that I was talking about, I think, where you need the bottle. So let's go ahead and shrink down. This is our first time shrinking into a minish on a rock portal, I think he calls it. And we're still cute as ever. Super, super cute. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the minish world. There may be other rock portals. Keep your eyes peeled, boy. So 
let's go ahead and get our water bottle, I mean our water bottle, our empty bottle out so we can grab this green water that we're gonna need later. and turn back into a normal sized human. You could just jump down through here. And if we make our way over here, there's gonna be another entrance, but there's that one, there's also this one right here. Go ahead and blow it up. I actually think this is the way up the mountain, so let's go check the other cave out. Oh, it's another deck of scrub, okay. You can also fuse with these guys. Oh, shoot! Yeah, there you go. So he wanted to fuse, thank goodness, because we want to fuse with as many people as we can, as many things as we can. And again, this is another one in the Minish Woods. I think we can get this one. I think this is right at the entrance to the Minish Woods. Yeah. So we can go ahead and grab that whenever we get the chance. And let's go ahead and speak to him. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of them for 30 rupees. That's actually a thievery. I like to say my good sir. Get lost? How rude. He's trying to like steal money from us and stuff. And he's like, oh, get lost. Woo! Okay. What I wanted to make sure is that there weren't any pots in the way because sometimes there's pots in the way and you can't go to fall to to the chasm below if you don't get the, rid of the pots before. And the way that you get rid of those pots if they were there is you use the gust jar to blow them out of the way. And also these guys, you do need to kill them with the gust jar because you can't hurt them with that plate that they have on their face. Yeah, right here. Once you've pulled off their iron masks, those guys are no trouble whatsoever. So exactly what I was about to say. You just go ahead and uh, do that, and that's how you kill these guys. They're like little... I don't even know what they are, birds. Weird things. piece that we can get for our troubles and also there's a keys right there that's trying to wait to ambush us not really ambush us but hurt us because uh yes is that the blue one that i need oh i think it's the blue one that we need okay so what i'm gonna do is that uh, oh my gosh i want to go back yay we 
We got 50 rupees. No! Can we get this? Oh, yay! We got it. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, I want to go back to Hyrule Town because sometimes when you do certain things and unlock certain things, you won't be able to go back and fuse with those people. So I kind of want to go back and fuse with that guy. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go fuse with that guy. I'm going to show you when we get to that guy, fuse with him, and then we'll come back to when we get back here. that certain shape of the green ones but unfortunately I spent a lot of time just getting the same green shaped pin stones so unfortunately we're gonna have to wait on the other fusion that we need to do and uh, then we're gonna uncover another portal to the Minish world and if we go ahead and turn Minish we can go ahead and get in those areas be careful with these because they do hurt you and what you want to do is you actually want to go over here Kill these guys. And now that we have the the mineral water, we can actually lift up this little seed. We're big and strong. Put this is you actually want to throw this in here. There we go. Nice and s nice and secure in that little hole. Nice and snug in that little hole. The, the, the plant. And then if you go in here, you get yourself. I think it's another heart piece. This is the kinstone, the one that we need. A blue one, but we do need more of those and stuff because later on we don't know who's gonna want what type of kinstone. So it's good that we're getting those, but I do need the green one, and that's like the most common one too. Are the green ones, and I couldn't get any of the ones that I needed. And now let's go ahead and go into this little minish hole over here that we exposed. Here we go, we got a little chest with the red and stone again. That's not what we need at the moment, but you know. Water's life for crinal beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them. But the green beans like Mount Crinal Mineral Water. Mount Crinal Mineral Water can be found only in a spring here on Mount Crinal. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Crinal. And he does not want to fuse, it looks like. Okay, as you saw there, I accidentally hurt myself, so don't go up. Also, I'm stuck in a loop! There we go. Managed to get up. So let's go ahead and go back to normal size. And now let's go ahead and head back up here. And let's go ahead and pour the water onto the bean. And now you can use your bottle for any fairies that you would like to have, or anything like that. And then Krennel mines to the right. And if we go up here, there's really not much you can do at the moment. Well, first of all, I don't know which way to go first. So you can't climb walls yet, so you can't go up here. Yeah, so up here is Colonel Wall. Watch out for falling rocks, so we can't climb yet. So we gotta go over here. 
I was checking to see if I could get any zombies or anything like that. And also, now that you're up here with, with some of these rocks, yeah, hold those little guys. So you want to be careful with that. Eh, because then that happens and you just got to lift the rock off of them. After getting hit a few times, of course. This wall right here. Whoops. Oh, what? That totally went through him. <gasps> we got a blue piece, so he's not the one that we're looking for, unfortunately. But we need the green pieces. Oh, these guys are annoying. Yeah, so what you have to do is you actually have to blow them up because um, they have a defense mechanism where they turn into little spikes and um, you cannot kill them when they are in the spike form and unfortunately that's the only way you could kill them at the moment is with bombs. This guy's waiting for us. Yeah, look at him. He's trying to get us. To this cave and we got a deku scrub does he want to fuse he does not want to fuse ah you got me this fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself climb in style for only 40 rupees what a bargain okay good we have enough money to get it so let's go ahead and get that because now we're gonna be able to climb the walls now you can easily claim cliffs that you could not scale before. Thanks a lot! No, thank you, my good sir. So now if you go down here, you're just gonna be back at the entrance to the Mount Prenel. So you wanna head up here. Hmm. 
Hmm, yes. Okay. So we can't really do much with this right now. Let's go back down. And you want to head back over here to the left. This, uh, yeah, you can go up here. So we go back down over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to check. Nope, nope. I'm actually going to check to see what's here. I don't think there's really much here. Yeah, other than to get a, to get down if you do jump here by accident. So let's go ahead and go over here. And now that we can climb, we can actually make our way up here. Okay, so be careful because like they warn you about there is falling rocks here. And I do tend to get hit at least once, just like I did right now. Because, you know, I have to get hit at least once with these. But there is going to be a chance that appears here later on when you do the fusions. And if you make your way all the way over here, actually I think we missed something down here. Yeah, so you want to make your way down here because you want to bomb this wall again. Lots of bombing. And it says no bomb throwing, <laughs> but we did. Okay, here we are at a fairy fountain. So we're gonna go ahead and what we need to do is throw in a bomb to get the fairy to come out. Welcome to the Adventure Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? And you have to tell her the truth, otherwise you'll get shocked to death. So we say neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. You got a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. And there we go. May light shine on your quest. Thank you, my fairy. Much appreciated. And that's what you get in this fairy fountain. So let's go ahead and make our way up still. Oh, I think I actually avoided... I think I actually avoided that rock. Ooh. They come at you like really quick and then you don't have a lot of time to, re uh, ooh, to react. And now there's a blue one which they jump farther I think and they jump faster and a lot more like you just saw. doing this is because I want to make sure that I'm not getting hit by like any of those rock beetle things and if you go down here there's gonna be an old hermit that you can talk to oh he wants to fuse please let it be something that I have no he's the oh the one that I need for the other guy too he wants it okay so he's the carnal hermit we're gonna have to come back here when we do get that piece of kid stone for him and for the other person in town. Which I think was the lady Pina or something like that. Until you can't, uh, as far as you can go. Okay, now this is gonna be the fun part because we have to go all the way here through this crack to the other side, and there's gonna be a lot of droplets of water falling. And if you do get hit by them, you get hurt. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. So you gotta be careful, if you could get under the thing, that'll be great. Oh, oh, oh. almost got hit there. Alright, there we go, we made it through without getting hit. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to push this boulder to this hole over here. First you actually want to push this boulder into this hole, and the other boulder over here you want to push to that hole at the top over there. 
So let's go ahead and push it this way. Then you go ahead and push it up and then up and then left up up one more time and then push it down from here and then left it always looks like a mushroom to me it's always looked like a mushroom to me this boulder and go ahead and push it up and then into the hole Okay, now be careful because there's, yeah, those bird things. Okay, so go ahead and push this out of the way. Uh, my bad, this top one. And you want to go ahead and push, I think this, nope. <laughs> the This one out of the way. Then that up. Okay, then you want to push this one out of the way. There you go. Don't think you needed to push that second one out of the way, but... Hmm. I think I made a mistake. Okay, let's see. Can I push this one to the right? I can, I can! There we go! Okay, we didn't make a mistake. Ha ha! Do you need that? So many enemies on Mount Crenel. Oh, I hate you. I hate these little nerds right here. Yeah, die! Die to your little freaking home, you little punk. Oh, oh, I got you before you can even hit me. Ha ha! Woo. Okay, so this is the area that I was talking about where you're gonna have some pots that are gonna be in the way. And again, you just wanna use your gust jar to get it out of the way to clear the path. That way you won't fall into the abyss. There we go, and then let's go ahead and pull it as far as we can go, and then we release it. And there we go. In here, nothing but bombs. Okay, so if you need bombs, that's why you want it. And now you gotta throw a bomb over here to blow that switch up. Oh, come on, I just don't my parts go work. Got a red rupee. Woohoo! Yay! Looks like there aren't any of those beetles here, so that's good. I don't even know what they are specifically. They might be beetles or they might be... I don't know what. So we we'll push this down. Left. Down. Now we can push this out of the way and get down the stairs. And there's a chest here that you can go ahead and grab if you move blocks out of the way correctly. Which we will try. So if you move this, move that, then I think you can move this. Oh yes, there we go. And there we go, we got it. Look, it's okay, come on, people. You need to give me the green ones that I need. 
the Mount Colonel Herman needs it, and so does some guy, some person at Hyrule Castle Town. So now we can turn Minish and go over here, and this is gonna be another Minish village where that elder was talking about that guy who can forge or fix up the Kokori sword. So far, no, they don't. But if they do want to fuse, hopefully they, we have the keystone piece that they are looking for. Come back here. Okay, he doesn't want to fuse either. Nobody is inside their house. He doesn't want to fuse. But who wants to fuse? Nobody wants to fuse here? Okay, let's check if these guys want to fuse. They do not. Ugh. Okay, let's talk to the elder here. Ah. Green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be young Link? I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Kikori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescuing of princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. Alright, there we go. We give him the broken Picori blade and he's gonna go ahead and fix it up for us. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. There'll be a wild link. Let's leave them to it and find that element. So now if we talk to this guy. What? You're going to the mine? If you talk to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. And there we go. He gets out of the way for us. Let's go ahead and turn back to normal sites. And let's go ahead and look at this. And there we go. It's another marker that crumbled. Alright. So here we are at the next dungeon, Cave of Flames. We will be doing this in the next episode. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this dungeon in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you guys liked it. I know it was a bit of a longer episode probably with all the kinstone fusing and stuff like that. You want to try to get that out of the way again if you're 100% completing this game. Or just in general, you could get a lot of good stuff. Treasures and stuff. But, um... It is a hassle. It is a lot of grinding for the kinstones. Especially when they don't give you the right shapes that you need and stuff or the colors it's a pain in the butt but um hope you guys enjoyed this episode hope it came as a help if you guys needed help you know and um i hope to see you guys in the next episode thank you guys again so much for the support i really really appreciate it you guys are the best and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day your night wherever you guys are and i'll catch you guys in the next episode bye